Kara Sosa and I am a senior care manager with MCOT and I've been with the Center for Healthcare Services for 15 years. MCOT accepts uh, community calls from, um, from anybody in the community who uh, calls in to report somebody who is in crisis. Uh, and then MCOT responds to that person wherever they are in the community, whether that be at their home or their work um, or at one of our other clinics uh, to determine whether or not the person is in crisis and meets criteria for inpatient hospitalization. We are assessing um, for the least restrictive treatment environment um, and most people are often experiencing um, feelings of um, suicidal ideation, wanting to hurt themselves possibly wanting to hurt other people, um, or also in a state of extreme psychosis. So MCOT goes in to assess the person and determine whether or not they are voluntarily willing to go to an inpatient hospitalization setting. And if they are, then we will transport them uh, in our company vehicle to the nearest hospital or to crisis center. Um, and then if they are not willing to go voluntarily, but MCOT is recommending inpatient hospitalization, uh, then we do seek out assistance from our local law enforcement, whether that be SAPD or BCSO, um, to screen for an emergency detention if we feel that that person does in fact need an inpatient hospitalization setting to uh, get the proper treatment that they need at that time. People can call the crisis line number, which is 210-223-7233. Uh, that will put you in contact with a call center. They screen um, to determine uh, safety for MCOT assessors. And if it is safe for MCOT assessors to go to the scene, then um, they, will, uh, they will dispatch us out to that call. Um, if they determine that the scene is not safe, then they will dispatch it to uh, SAPD and then the call will get screened from there. The other thing that we do uh, within MCOT is we do get referrals from the, um, the courts. If somebody goes in and files a mental health warrant on uh, a person in the community, the judge reviews it and they will um, execute the warrant. Uh, if the application is denied, then uh, Judge Kazin forwards it to the MCOT office and we review the warrant and make contact with the person and the applicant and go out and make a face-to-face -face assessment to determine whether or not that person is in crisis. We serve anybody with, uh, with or without insurance. Insurance is not something that we are uh, specifically questioning at the time. If we are on scene and we feel that the person does not meet criteria for inpatient hospitalization setting or for the crisis observation unit, then we do staff with our doctors that are on call at crisis center uh, to confirm that the person is safe to leave in the community and we will then give them referral to our intake and eligibility office at 928 West Commerce at the PEC clinic. Our CHCS programs do call into the crisis line um, to, re, to report their consumers if they feel that their consumers are in a crisis. Um, many times we do get referrals from the uh, Paul Elizondo Clinic at PEC during intake because those uh, consumers that are coming in are without medications at the time and are um, you know, off medication and not stable and in need of, of help. So we do get referrals straight from the intake process, uh, but then also our case managers who are out in the community visiting with their consumers, if they feel that their consumer may be experiencing a crisis, then uh, they are recommended to call us as well. The crisis number is 210-223-7233. The MCOT team is located at 601 North Frio, San Antonio, Texas 78207.